Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the Hot Woods Mama's Fan Talk Show. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you're just browsing through my videos, welcome. For those of you that don't know what my channel is about, my channel is about cerebral palsy because I myself have cerebral palsy and I want to help those who have disabilities understand just because you have a disability doesn't mean you can't live a productive life because you absolutely can. You just have to set your mind to whatever it is you're trying to achieve and you can achieve those goals. Don't let anybody ever tell you that you cannot achieve a goal just because you have a disability. With that being said, let's get started with today's video. Um, by the way, before I start today's video, I, I want to tell you all, everyone is welcome. You just don't have to have a disability to join my channel. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. And I'm going to talk about how hard it is for me as an individual to live with CP. And that's short for cerebral palsy. Um, so there are things I can do on my own, like put my shirt on, um, Anything above the neck, I can pretty much do. Anything below my shirt, I have to have help. And, but there are a lot of things that I can do. Um, for instance, I can feed myself. I can um, make phone calls. I can grab things as long as it's in uh, reach of me. And even if it's not, I try to do um, that myself. And I try several different ways before I ask for help. Because for me, and it doesn't pertain to everybody, but for me, if I can do something, I'm going to do it. And I'm going to struggle so many times before I ask for help. There's nothing wrong with the way that I do things. Just, you probably like, why don't you like asking for help? Because I like to try to do things myself so my husband doesn't have to do it. Even though he loves helping me, I still try to do things myself. Like, I can cook for myself if I'm up in my wheelchair. I can go to the store by myself if need be. If I'm in my electric chair, I can do a lot of things. But at the same time in me saying that, it's hard because when I go to the store by myself, I have to get somebody to reach something for me that I cannot reach. So, in that aspect, it's hard, but the lower stuff, the lower stuff on the lower shelves, I, I can pretty much reach. If it's like the middle shelf, I can reach. But if it's the higher shelves and lower shelves, I have a hard time reaching. And so I just, you know, I just ask for help. 
but there are days that I have hard beings because my back just won't allow me to do certain things and I have to start listening to my body and I've been doing that pretty much I've been slowing down I'm too old my I'm not that old but my body's telling me no you're not gonna do this so I have to listen to my body so I don't injure myself um and I have broken my ribs before trying to do things for myself I don't know exactly how I broke my ribs but what I do know is I broke my ribs trying to do things for myself. That's how hard I will push myself. Um, and I only found out that I broke my ribs um, years ago. And I put two and two together and it was for me doing too much. Because again, I'm hard-headed, and I don't like asking people for help. And I have to get out of that mindset to where I need to start asking people for help. It's not easy, and it's my pride getting in the way. But you have to realize where I'm coming from. I try to do everything myself because I don't let my disability get in the way. I mean, there are some people that can't do the things that I do. And that's just my pride getting away, but I have to sit back and open my eyes and realize what I'm doing is not intentionally hurting myself, but doing things that I know I shouldn't be doing. And so that's the hardest part for me to let go and let somebody else help because my cerebral palsy gets in the way and I try to be as normal as possible yes I know I have a disability Yes, I'm reminded of it every day. So, I just try to be as normal as I possibly can. And if that means me not asking for help, sometimes, then that's what I have to do but there are some times when my back is telling me no you're going to do this and then that's when I ask for the help that I need and I'm gonna do another video and explain why sorry cerebral palsy is so difficult and hard for me this one I'm just giving you a little taste of how hard cerebral palsy is for me yes it gets in my way but at the same time guys I don't let my disability stop me
as I told you guys before. I don't let my disability get in the way. Even though some days it does. But I personally don't let my disability get in the way. I define who I am. My disability doesn't define me. And that's the way I've lived my life for years now. I define my disability. My disability doesn't define me. And as long as I have that mindset, yes, it slows me down at times, but I still keep going. And the whole point of me doing this video today is to let you know if you have some sort of disability, don't let your disability define who you are. You define your disability. And that's why I do these videos to inspire you and to let you know that you're not the only person out there that has a disability. Yes, your disability may be worse off than mine, but guys, don't let your disability define who you are. You define your disability. And that's another one of my favorite quotes, but I don't use it very often. You know? I don't use it very often. So, when I get ready and do the merch, that part won't be in there because I don't use that quote very often. I use that quote when I start feeling weak. And guys, I hate with all get out, I hate my disability sometimes but then again I love it because I get to teach you guys what I've been through and what I'm going through thank goodness I haven't had any surgeries this year knock on wood so I've been doing really well with that now don't get me wrong I have pain every day there's not a day that goes by that I don't have pain in my back and that's due to the metal rods in my back and I did a video a couple years back about my scoliosis but if you want me to do another video for you let me know let me know what you think of the first video I did I think I did two videos on scoliosis I can't remember anymore. You'll have to go back in the playlist and um, look at it. I think I did two videos about my scoliosis. But I'm, I've been thinking about doing another video for you guys. And the reason why I want to do that type of video is to let you know how painful it is to go through that surgery it took 
back when I got it in 94, it took 16 hours for them to do that surgery. Because what they had to do is they had to break my back and then put the metal rods in my back and reset my back. So, it took me a good five years to completely heal. It took me a year to go back to school because I tried it right after I got the surgery because I don't want to stay home with my mom. So it took me a year to um, go back to school because like I said, I tried it when I first got the surgery and my back was telling me, heck no, you're not going back to school till I tell you you can go back to school. So, that's pretty much, in a nutshell, how cerebral palsy works for me. And there's other things that I can't do that I'm going to share with you in another video. And keep in mind, guys, there's going to be another video that I post today. Uh, depression series that I told you guys I want to do. And if there's any other particular video that you want to see, please, by all means, let me know um, what you want to see. And like I said, guys, as soon as I get everything on pack, I'm going to start, well, my husband gets everything on pack. Um, he's just taking his time. As soon as I find my GoPro, I am going to do videos. Um, with my GoPro. But as soon as we get everything out of storage, my husband just told me it was in the storage. So as soon as we get everything out of storage, I will be trying the GoPro out. If you guys have any questions about any particular videos, that I do and you don't understand something please by all means let me know what you what you want to see me do and if you want to be a part of the Hot Wheels Mama's Fam talk show stars all you have to do is subscribe and hit that notification bell and then once you do that you will automatically become a part of the hot wheels mama's jam talk show believe me this channel is fun yes i may talk about my experience rather showing you um the experience that I go through. I rather talk about it because a lot of people show you they don't really talk about um, certain parts. They show you the difficulties, but my channel is just um, talking about it. Now, if you want me to show you different things. Please drop it in the comments on what you want me to show you. I'm going to end this video here today. But remember, there's going to be a second video that I post today. 
about depression. So if you want to hear about that video, please tune in for the second video of the day. And if you're not ready to hear about depression, those videos will be in a in a playlist for you guys to watch when you are ready and as i always say never say you can't always say you can and never give up and from my daughter to you try your best each and every day and I will see you guys very soon. And thank you for allowing me to come into your home and share my story with you. And thank you for becoming a part of the Hot Wheels Mama's Fan Talk Show. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.